Welcome to Tesla Joe's, where we test everyday average Joe scenarios that you might encounter in your Tesla. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on advanced summons. We will be using a Model 3, and the Model 3 will be running software 2019.40.2.1. Let's get started with the first scenario. We're going to test advanced summons at nighttime. Next up, we're going to test out some tennis rackets and tennis balls that have been thrown in a parking lot. Following that, we're going to do a pretty common scenario where you'd have a backpack sitting in front of your vehicle. Now, we're also going to test if a baby was sitting in a parking lot. That's right, a baby. Here's a scenario where your golf clubs may be sitting behind your Tesla. You want to see how it's going to react? This one's very common. There could be a bag of trash sitting in the parking lot. We want to see how it reacts to that. Up next, we're going to be looking at if someone or yourself leaves a yoga mat in a parking lot, how it will react. And then there's an unfortunate tripod incident coming up as well. And finally, we're going to round it out with a person riding a scooter in the parking lot. Here's a picture of our Model 3 that we're going to be using today. Notice all that chrome on there? Oh wait, no. No you don't. It's gone. We've used the Nikola Pro Full Chrome Delete Kit. And I put the link in the description below, as well as a link to our website, AverageTeslaOwner.com, to get the details on the Nikola Pro Chrome Delete Kit. To kick things off here, we want to give our Model 3 a little warm-up lap. This is 4x speed. Advanced Summons does not go this fast. It tops out of 5 miles per hour. So we run the Model 3 down to the end of the parking lot there, and then we're going to run it right back to us here. And that was just a little warm-up lap. Let's move into our first test here for Advanced Summons. It's going to be at nighttime, and it's also going to include an elevation change. And by elevation change, I mean that the parking lot is at two different levels from where we're standing and where the car is positioned for when it starts. So here we go to get started. In the top left, I've got the advanced summons screen on my phone. And now you can see the car lights turning on as the advanced summons is beginning. And we're at a higher elevation here than where the car is. And you can kind of see that, but it's dark out. So now we start going along here. We're about a couple hundred feet away. We're not too far away. Now you can see it's going to stop at this intersection because it recognizes an intersection. You can also see the indicators on, so the right side indicators on because it knows it's going to be coming right or towards us at this point in time. And now it's slowly creeping along here at four, five, three, slowing down again for another intersection. You can see the blinkers on again. And now it's in the home stretch here where it's going to start coming right at us. And now it's saying waiting for pedestrian. I was actually in the way there. So after I moved out of the way, it continued to come towards us. There it is waiting again. But it made it all the way to us. <clears throat> hey, hey, great success. Darkness nor parking lot elevation is any match for advanced summons. So we'll give it a pass here. Next up, we've got tennis rackets and tennis balls. The scenario here is pictured you're at a country club or somewhere where there's, you know, tennis courts and someone's left their tennis rackets out and or tennis balls on the ground, either in front of your car or behind your vehicle. For our scenario here, we have the tennis rackets out in front of the vehicle. We start the advanced summons and here it comes right towards us. And there it goes right over the tennis rackets. That did not go as planned. Not sure exactly what happened there, but it didn't even pause. So that's going to be a big failure. The tennis racket was crushed, completely ruined. Fresh off that failed tennis racket attempt, let's attempt a backpack. This is a pretty common scenario. You know, you've got a backpack, either your own backpack for work or for school, or one of your kids, roommates, etc. Leave a backpack out in front of your vehicle. And that's exactly what we're going to test here. As you can see, the backpack sitting right in front of the Model 3. What we're going to do is we're going to start the advanced summons and we're going to use the come to me function. We're standing right where the camera is located at this point in time. As you can see, it gets started and then it actually immediately goes to the right. So it does an excellent job avoiding the backpack here. And my speculation is that it's a taller object so I was able to see it. So we're going to give that a pass. The backpack was avoided. No issues there at all. 
now that we're back on track with advanced summing performing as intended, let's give it a try with a baby. That's right, we're gonna put a baby in a parking lot and see if advanced summons avoids that baby or not. So here we go. We'll get this scenario set up and we're gonna test it out. So right there you can see our baby sitting right in the line. Somebody's left that baby there, I don't know why. But we've got the come to me set again. The vehicle started coming at us and then you can see it detected an object and it actually avoids that baby in the parking lot, which is pretty neat. I mean, it does get very close to it, but we did not hit the baby. So parking lot babies are safe, just so everybody's aware. That's gonna be a big pass. Advanced summons did excellent there and avoided it. And we tried this multiple times and it avoided the baby every time. All right, I have to admit, a baby in a parking lot's probably not very likely, but a bag of trash on the other hand is. And that's exactly what we're gonna test next here. What we've done, as we put a bag of trash in a parking lot and we're going to try to use advanced summons and make the vehicle come to us right over the bag of trash. As you can see, the bag of trash is right in the middle of the parking lot there. Now we've started our advanced summons and the advanced summons immediately detects an object and moves to the right of the object or the left on our screen there. And so a bag of trash will be avoided if it's of that height there. So the trash is avoided that's going to get a big check mark and a big old green pass from us. Great job, Advanced Summons. Moving from our trash scenario to golf clubs. I think that golf clubs is a very common scenario. So you've been out to the practice range or you've played around a golf and now you've set your golf clubs behind your vehicle. And in this case, my son set his clubs behind our Model 3 and we wanted to try Advanced Summons to see the reaction. So here we are, it started, okay. Now an object's been detected, so at first it seems like it's doing great, but then it just decides to run them right over. That's right, it continued to run over the golf clubs, so we had to stop it. That's going to be a big fail. Golf clubs are no match for the Tesla. The Model 3 ran them over. It's yoga mat time. That's right, you're at the gym or the yoga studio. Hell, you're at the country club. Someone left a yoga mat in front of your Model 3. Yeah, you're none the wiser, because you want advanced summons to come pick you up. So, here we go. As you can see, the yoga mat is the pink yoga mat and it's sitting right in front of our Model 3. Right now, what we're doing is we're kicking off the advanced summons. We're going to tell it to go to a location, go to a target. Here it comes. And, oh, okay, we didn't notice anything there. Oh, it's still coming at us. Here we go, okay. Oh, things are getting a little crazy now. All right, well, the yoga mat appears to be a failure. It looks like it got run over. Didn't notice it one bit. And here's a close-up of it. As you can see, there's tire marks on the yoga mat. And this thing's actually a double fail. It smashes our camera at the end. So it smashes our tripod. And just one more look at it here. Oh, there it is. There's the impact. A real failure. Next, we're going to be looking at how advanced summons does with a person riding a scooter. And the thing that makes this scenario a little bit more interesting as well is that it's at dusk. So there's some interesting light conditions in this video and you'll see it here in the varying clips. So here we are, as you can tell, it's, it's dusk or almost dark, but um, a lot of different light conditions going on. So here we go, we start in the advanced summons. And as you can see, the person's entering the screen and now you see waiting for path to clear. So the advanced summons did a great job there. Now you can see the car is beginning to advance again. And, oh, waiting for path to clear because the crazy scooter came out of the, the left again there. The car does continue on because as, if you continue to hold the button for the come to me, it will continue to come. Now here's another scenario. This time we used the target scenario rather than the come to me. See the vehicle's doing great here getting started. Oh, there's that crazy scooter rider again. Looks like the vehicle stopped perfectly. Vehicle starts to come again when the pedestrian clears. Oh, the scooter person is back in the screen. Oh, they've gotten out of the way. There we go, advanced summons continues to its target location. Our scooter scenario looks like a great success. Advanced summons did very well in the low light conditions and stopped for the scooter rider every single time. Let's take one more look at all of our scenarios. Our first scenario was nighttime summons and it did great. The advanced summons navigated all the intersections and the elevation change excellent. 
Moving into the next scenario, we tried out the tennis rackets and tennis balls on the ground in front of our Model 3, and we had the Model 3 summons to us. That did not go so well. I'd consider that a failure. Next, we attempted the very common backpack with the backpack right in front of the Model 3. Model 3 did excellent and avoided the backpack. That received a passing score. Next, we moved into the infamous parking lot baby, a very common scenario. At any rate, it was a fun one to test out, and it did avoid the baby each and every time we tried it. So that was awesome. That's a big pass. Next, we tried putting my son's golf clubs behind our Model 3, and this one didn't go so well. It first hesitated and stopped, but then we kept holding the button, and it actually ran over the golf clubs. So that's going to get a failure. We tried a very common one next, where we did a bag of trash, and as you can see again, it passed that one perfectly. Avoided the bag of trash, no problem in the parking lot. So you don't have to worry about your car running over trash. Here, we attempted the yoga mat. This was the pink yoga mat that somebody left in front of your vehicle, but you wanted to summon your car to you, and it failed this one. It ran the yoga mat right over. And then, we got the double fail. We got a little surprise for the tripod was smashed into by the advanced summons. And finally, we tried a person on a scooter where we passed and it did excellent in dusk and low light conditions. Thanks for watching everybody. That's all we have for our video today on advanced summons. Once again, you can check out the links in the description below for the Nikola Pro Full Chrome Delete Kit. And also check out our website, AverageTeslaOwner.com, for some cool tips, tricks, opinions. You can follow us on Twitter at Tesla Joes, and please subscribe to our channel. There'll be more videos coming shortly. Thanks, and look forward to reaching out to everybody soon.